to bring a new type of news show. New insights, new styles, and new topics every day. We are News Generation. Bring news just for you. It's Wednesday, October 16th here in Seoul. I'm Song Yujin, and this is News Generation. Today, we're joined by Kwon Ji-yeon. Happy Hump Day. Happy Hump Day, and Brooke Prince. Hello, Borahe. Borahe. <laughs> <laughs> Both are here to speak on behalf of those in their 20s and 30s. So, we're going to start with our keyword news of the day. Now, today's keyword for Wednesday is honey. Now, yesterday, New Jeans member Honey made headlines by attending the National Assembly's Environment and Labor Committee audit as a reference to testify about workplace bullying. Two weeks ago, the committee requested that Honey and Adore CEO Kim Joo-young appear as a reference and witness. This followed Honey's claim that a manager from the girl group Eyelid under the same parent company, Hybe, told that group's members told, told the group members to ignore her. Now, Eyelid's label, Believed Lab, has denied these accusations. So, Honey made a lot of relevant statements at the audit yesterday. So, I want to ask you, Brooke, what did you think about the comments she made during the hearing? Well, I heard that when reporters asked her to say something to her fans, mm -hmm. she said something like, what's in my heart doesn't require words. My fans know how I feel. And the whole thing just made me feel quite sad. Uh, this is a group, New Jeans, that was putting out hit after mm -hmm. hit, right? Within a very short period of time, right. they became a global phenomenon, and you could still hear their songs everywhere. So I'm sure that all of the girls are really wanting to just get back to what they mm -hmm. love doing, which, which is, is performing. making amazing music, mm -hmm. performing. Um, but it's unfortunate that at such a young age, they're having to overcome these very unexpected obstacles. So to echo Hani's words, I think what's in her fans' hearts doesn't even require something to be said. But I hope that she knows that there are lots of people who love and support her and the rest of the group during this very difficult time. Mm, right. And the reason why Hani's appearance to this audit drew a lot of attention was it's kind of seen as a really rare and bold move by a major K-pop star to actually attend a National Assembly audit and also talk about bullying within the industry. So I want to ask you, Jiyan, what are your thoughts on her decision to attend this event and also speak out? Well, Hani's decision to speak out workplace harassment during the National Assembly audit is both brave and admirable. By addressing these issues publicly, she highlights the importance of transparency and accountability in the entertainment industry. It's especially powerful coming from someone who is very powerful in, this, in the spotlight as it may encourage others to speak up about similar experiences. And overall, it's great to see such a public figure use the platform to shed light on this critical issue. Mm. Now, we still don't know whether these allegations are true. Now, the Labour Ministry has vowed that it will investigate into this, so we'll bring you the updates regarding this issue. And that was our keyword news for this Wednesday. So we're now going to move on to our main discussion for the day. Now, with our fall reshuffle this week, every Wednesday on NewsGen will now feature the so-called My K-Star Pick segment. So every Wednesday, we'll be highlighting some of the hottest and most trending figures in Korea. So please stay tuned. So let's start with our very first K-Star of the Week segment. So can you introduce us? Uh, which star we picked for our very first episode? Of course. Well, this group needs no introduction. They Indeed. are without question the top male group in Korea. Look at my outfit today. And you my. probably guessed it. <laughs> the color of the outfit is the color of BTS. It Ooh. is purple. We, the <laughs> army, the BTS army, has actually officially declared the purple as the official color mm -hmm. of BTS. Uh, while I'd love to introduce all of the members of BTS, but you know, due to time, limited time, mm -hmm. we've got to introduce this member, J Hope. J Hope. So, <laughs> take a closer look at his profile. His real name is Chong Ko Sok, and his stage name is J Hope. Is well, it reflects his desire to bring hope to mm -hmm. the fans, to be the hope of BTS. He was born on the 18th of February 1994, currently 30 years old, in Pukgu district of Gwangju, South Korea. At 177 centimeters tall and 60 kilograms, he has a strong <laughs> pres preference, presence that is, that captures the audience. In Korea, blood type is often seen as quite important because many people believe it can re reveal certain personality traits. Right. For instance, those with blood type A, like J-Hope and me, often <laughs> thought to be thoughtful and detail-oriented. He comes from a loving family who, with his father, mother, and older sister, four years, mm -hmm. is senior. And when it comes to his personality type, 
J-Hope is an INFJ, mm -hmm. making him the only member of BTS with a J in his oh. MBTI. What as does a that 20. J mean? Well, J stands for judging. Oh. Judging means not judging other people. It means J-Hope tends to prefer structural things. Or he's organized mm -hmm. and he likes planning. And uh, quite an interesting profile for an artist known for lighting up the stage. Mm, right. So from his real name to his MBTI, his mm -hmm. personality type, I think Chuyun just gave us a very sophisticated run through of who J Hope is. <laughs> now, once again, there is a special reason why we chose uh, BTS and specifically uh, its member J Hope as our K Star of the Week, right, Brooke? That's right, and I gave everyone a hint at the top of the show what mm -hmm. we'd be talking about. I said Borahe, right. and Bora is purple, and it's a mix of the word purple, and Saranghe, which means I love you in mm -hmm. Korean, so I purple you is a phrase for BTS fans, and all of us are very, very excited because tomorrow like, is, a, is a very, very special day for day. us. Uh, the main rapper, J-Hope, will be discharged from the military. So right. we're all very excited about that. And it really made me think, wow, time flies, because I remember when everyone was wondering, are they going to enlist? Right, are they right. not going to enlist? It was kind of a debate for some time, but eventually they did announce that they are going to all be serving and mm -hmm. they will be reuniting in 2025. Now, J-Hope was the second BTS member to enlist uh, following the eldest, Jin, mm -hmm. and he enlisted on April 18th, 2023. He's been serving as a drill instructor at the 36th Infantry Division's Recruit Training Center in Wanju, Gangwon Province. Mm -hmm. Now, during his service, he reportedly showcased a very exemplary performance, leading to even an early promotion to the position mm. of sergeant. So congrats to him. That's wonderful. Uh, he also appears to have been very beloved by his fellow soldiers. There were many headlines talking about how he supported and even covered the costs of several social events. Uh, telling them to treat yourselves, mm -hmm. have fun. So this really shows that he is not one of those celebrities that, you know, kind of puts his nose up to other, other people. He's very humble. He's very generous. He has a big, big heart. Right. Uh, so it's really wonderful to hear that he has been serving his country so honorably. Mm, right. So he is being discharged from the military tomorrow after a one and a half year of mandatory military service here in Korea. Now, there is another reason why uh, we are talking about J-Hope here on NewsGen, and that's because he has really become an icon for the younger generation, uh, especially uh, with how open he's been about his concerns and worries when he was in his 20s, making him so relatable to the younger generation. So take a listen to what he said during a speech he gave celebrating South Korea's first Youth Day back on September 19th, 2020. 팬들의 행복한 얼굴도 보이고 그렇게 마냥 괜찮을 줄 알았습니다. 하지만 생각지도 못한 큰 사랑과 관심 저희의 그림자도 점점 크고 무거워졌습니다. 음악을 사랑했던 우리의 마음까지 짓누르기 시작했습니다. 우리는 누구인가 또 어떤 사랑을 받고 있는가 치열하게 자신을 다그치며 되물을 수밖에 없었습니다. I mean, I think these are all questions and concerns that we all share as part of the younger generation, which is once again why uh, J-Hope has become such a relatable K-pop star, uh, especially for the new generation. <laughs> so let's now find out more about J-Hope. We prepare three keywords that we think best describe who he is. So let's start with our first keyword. Number one is best dancer. So. Jiyoung, could you please explain what made J-Hope to become the best dancer of BTS? Of course, of course. Well, it's time to dive deeper into J-Hope right now. And if we were to introduce him, the first one should be best dancer, mm -hmm. as you said. In a Billboard interview, when asked who is the best dancer in BTS, both the choreographer and his fellow members unanimously, unanimously named J-Hope. Mm. He's clearly the group's, he's clearly the group's uh, top dancer known for his technical skills and incredible use of his core and joints. As a child, J-Hope was very active and even dreamt of becoming a tennis player. 
However, that all changed in third grade of elementary school when he developed an interest in dance during a school dance class. Mm -hmm. From there, he started training very seriously at a dance academy in Guangzhou, which has now become a must visit destination for international fans. By the time he was in the last grade of middle school, he had joined a dance team and became quite well known in Guangzhou area, not just for his dance skills, but also for his charming appearance. Mm, so all his efforts and mm -hmm. hard work has mm -hmm. made him the best dancer of the K-pop super band BTS. Correct. So let's now move on to our second keyword of J-Hope. Number two is mood maker. <laughs> so Brooke, can you tell us why J-Hope is called the mood maker? Yes, he is definitely the mood maker of BTS. One of the reasons why this group became such a global phenomenon is because of their variety content. Mm -hmm. So they were one of the first groups to really utilize online content in order to build a fan base. Right. And I remember when I was first getting into BTS, I would watch those videos. And even though I didn't know Korean at the time, I would always find myself laughing. And one of the biggest reasons why was J-Hope. He has <laughs> such an energetic, bubbly personality. His laugh is so contagious. He would always make jokes and make his members laugh and make his fans laugh as well. And that actually translated overseas too. So once they started doing interviews in America, it didn't matter the language barrier. He would always find a way to just endear himself right. to the audience. His famous line, I'm your hope, you're my hope, I'm <laughs> J-Hope, always makes people smile and he really is a very hopeful positive source of energy no matter where you are or what language you speak you just you can't help but smile when you watch mm. him so that's why I would say he is a mood maker right so the two keywords that we've taken a look until now first is best dancer the second is mood maker now last but not least the third keyword that best describes J-Hope is no pain no game. So could you please elaborate on that too? Yes, he is known as being a hardworking genius. Now, of course, everyone's born with some sort of natural talent and he certainly is very, very talented, but he also had to nurture his skills. Right. Apparently, when he first joined BTS, he didn't even know how to rap. And he talks about these early days and in interviews. And he says that when he first joined the group, the other members were freestyling over beats. They already knew how to rap, how to right and he was still learning the fundamentals so he talks very fondly and says yeah it was difficult to adapt to that environment but I have such fond memories of that time he was so determined to hone his skills mm -hmm. and nowadays he's known as an ace right he's right. a great rapper singer dancer. dancer he is a well-rounded idol and that happened because of this no pain no gain mindset mm, right and I think that makes his career more admirable and himself more inspiring to a lot of people so so far we've taken a look a closer look into j-hope through three keywords now let's take the time to hear from what the younger generation uh, think about j-hope we actually went to Gangnam station in Seoul to ask young people their views <laughs> 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 well, I think a lot of the people we interviewed or met, they kind of agree on how J-Hope is full of positive energy. He has leadership and most of all, they seem to be really excited that J-Hope is coming back from the military. Now, once again, J-Hope is the second BTS member to complete his mandatory military service after Jin. And speaking of BTS, we're now less than a year away from all seven members reuniting as a full group. That is after all of them are discharged from the military. And many, of course, the armies 
are eager to see them together again as BTS has sent new milestones and broken numerous records in the K-pop industry. Many are calling them a living legend. That's right. Let me introduce about uh, let me introduce a BTS achievements and what an impressive list it is. In September 2020, BTS became the first Korean artist to top the Billboard Hot 100 with Dynamite. Right. They also made history as the first international group to claim the top spot in Oricon's annual album sales chart. The economic impact BTS brings to South Korea every year is estimated to be around $5 billion. Wow, wow. Huge. that's a lot indeed. And in 2020, their virtual concert Bang Bang Con The Live sat a world record with over 750,000 concurrent viewers from 107 different countries. Mm -hmm. In 2021, BTS became official envoys for South Korea, representing the nation of the, at the UN General Assembly, right. with RM, the group's leader, delivering the main speech on behalf of the group. All the members participated, sharing their thoughts on topics like the pandemic, youth, and climate change. And of course, there's a remarkable rise from a small, lesser-known agency mm -hmm. to becoming one of the world's most iconic groups, truly the miracle of a mid-sized gun I guess so. And the journey is nothing short mm -hmm. of remarkable. Right, because when BTS first debuted, Hybe was definitely not a major K-pop agency, but over the years, it has now become one of the big four K-pop labels in the country. Uh, so that is definitely one of the big accomplishments that BTS has made. Now, Brooke, are there any other more accomplishments uh, by BTS that you'd like to introduce? Oh, yes. I think we could go on and on about mm -hmm. their achievements. But to highlight just a few more, BTS was the first K-pop act to be nominated and to receive Billboard Music Awards Top Social Artist Award in 2017 showcasing just the passion of their fan base, the ARMY. And they've gone on to win numerous war awards, about 525 wow. since then. <laughs> BTS currently has five Grammy nominations, right. and I'm sure they're going to snag a Grammy soon mm -hmm. enough. They were also the first Korean group to perform at the Grammys in 2020. As mentioned, BTS is also the first Korean act to address the UN General Assembly in 2018. They spoke again in front of the UN in 2020 and 2021. Mm -hmm. Now, domestically, they've also been extremely successful. In 2019, BTS made history after winning all four grand prizes, or Daesang, as mm -hmm. they're called in Korean, at the MAMA Awards. They also achieved a Daesang sweep at MMA in the same year. And as a group, BTS has charted six number one hits on the Billboard Hot 100 for the songs. I'm sure you'll recognize all of these. Mm -hmm. Dynamite, Savage Love, <laughs> Life Goes On, Butter, Permission to Dance, and My Universe, a great playlist for all of you. Mm -hmm. And Time Magazine even named BTS as Entertainer of the Year in 2020. And I really think they are nowhere near done yet. Yeah, I think the list of accomplishments that they'll be writing or doing will just go on and on and on mm -hmm. once they reconvene as a group. So we've so far heard from our panelists about the achievements that BTS has made as K-pop stars. Now let's also hear once again some more from the younger generation on what they think about BTS. BTS가 UN에서 연설할 때 그게 가장 흥미롭 흥미로웠어 가지고 그게 가장 인상 깊게 남는 것 같아요. K-pop을 되게 세계로 많이 알린 되게 큰 K-pop에 큰 공로를 끼친 인물이라고 생각합니다. 다양한 부분에서 무대를 너무 잘하기도 했었고 뭐 문제 전환자 같은 예능 프로그램에서 활약을 하기도 했었고 그냥 다양한 방, 모습들을 많이 볼수 있는 게 다른 연예인들에선 그런 아이돌 같은 면모를 못 보니까 그래서 좋아했던 것 같습니다. 한국이라는 나라를 다른 나라에게 되게 우수하고 좀 좋은 인식을 준 uh, my colleague from work, her grandma, she is like around 80 years old, but she is a fan of K-pop and she knows everything about BTS, their singers and so on. Some teenagers are obsessed about them, so they attend their concerts and everything, so they're quite popular, I think, on the international uh, level. They're amazing. They're very actually coordinated. They look nice. The, the music is very nice. They also have some English in them, so we are able to interact as well to, uh, to understand at least a little bit. But definitely very catchy. We love it. Yeah. 
Right, so BTS has, has indeed become global stars, stealing the hearts of not only those here in Korea, but, in, but fans in other parts of the world. Now, wrapping up today's episode, I want to ask our panelists, what do you think makes J-Hope so special, although we've talked about him a lot today? Or is there anything that you'd like to say to him now that he is returning from his military service tomorrow? Well, I think we need a whole day to explain about <laughs> as they, Well, J-Hope's charm comes from his constant positivity, as Brooke mentioned, and his dedication for work. His passion for dance and music is absolutely clear mm -hmm. and he's he's always working to improve himself, no pain, no gain. And as he once again said in an interview, if you don't work hard, there won't be good results. In a group full of stars, j -Hope stands out as the heart of BTS. Plus, with that smile, he could probably make even Mondays feel like Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> and j -Hope, as you finish your service soon, he is to the next chapter. So maybe it will be full of hope since you are our hope. Mm. Or a more hopeful second chapter <laughs> uh, right. for j -Hope and BTS as well. What about you, Brooke? Well, first I have to say I was really um, touched to hear about the grandmother who oh. listened to BTS. Uh -huh. I think that's one of the big appeals of them as a group in general, is that they make everyone happy, regardless yeah. of your age. And I think J-Hope does that especially well. I think what's really, really special about him is that he's always in a good mood. Right. And of course he's human. I'm sure he has his down moments. But earlier, like I spoke about, even when he talks about their so-called awkward early mm -hmm. years when he was still learning how to do things. He talked about it so fondly and with such optimism. And I think that with the world the way it is, it can be such a dark place. He is like sunshine, right? When you, they, they call him the sunshine. Mm -hmm. They call him the happy vitamin. When you look at him, you just feel that positive energy. And I think he really lives up to his name of J-Hope, giving people hope. So J-Hope, congratulations on your service. Can't wait to see what you come out with next. Right. Congratulations and welcome back, J-Hope. <laughs> and that's all from us today. But Newsgen will be back tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. Korea time. Special thanks today to Kung ji Have a lovely day. Day. Thank you. And Brooke Prince. Thank you. Happy to be here. Thank you. And thank you everyone for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. We are News Generation. Generation.